What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we're going to take a little tour through my tea cabinet. It has been a hot minute since I've done anything about tea. This is all blown out. <laughs> Let me flip over the camera and show you what it looks like. So real quick, I have my like quick, I don't feel like doing anything teas. <laughs> Uh, this is just decaf Tetley Orange Pico. Uh, I affectionately call this one my cottage tea um, because I happen to drink this one most uh, when I'm at my cottage. And then just, you know, pure peppermint. And then these here are essentially this, but instead of Tetley, it's just from the President's Choice brand, uh, which is like a local grocery store. Um, and then this is my actual tea cupboard or tea shelf. Um, it is the Higgins and Burke Naturals Earl Grey, and you're going to notice a theme as I go along. <laughs> almost everything is by the same company, and almost everything is along the same line. So we've got Chai, Paris, Earl Grey Supreme, uh, Decaf, Vanilla, Cormoreau, I don't even know how to pronounce that one, uh, Victorian London Fog, which I also have another one back there, and Tower of London. Um, these are little samples, and then these ones are ones that uh, I haven't opened yet, but they're actually from last Christmas. Uh, Santa Secret, Candy Cane Crush, another Santa Secret, and Organic Nepal Black. This one's really good if you just want like a straight up black tea with like nothing, ignore the plate, uh, with nothing going on. Uh, this one is pretty sweet. These two are actually pretty close to each other. I'm sure you can uh, read the ingredients there. Um, Santa's Secret is something I look forward to almost every year. These are the ones from David's Tea. Everything else <laughs> is definitely Hardy and Sons, which is my new addiction. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's all I have left. Um, and then I have these little like tea sachet things um, that I can put all this because all of this is loose leaf tea uh, with the exception obviously of this one this one's really good um, it's an Earl Grey it definitely like it shows a lemon there for a reason it definitely does taste a little bit more like lemon um, and that's pretty much it I don't have that much tea anymore um, believe it or not I'm sure that tea cupboard is a lot a lot full uh, compared to some but that's actually pared down for me. Um, I probably will continue to pare it down a little bit um, and then just kind of like stick to maybe like five or six at a time. Um, but that's that's the update, guys. <laughs> um, a lot of you have been asking for a few tea videos, so I thought I'd throw that one in there real quick. Um, let me know if there's any of them in particular that you want to see, um, like a bit of a review on, um, but yeah. Thanks for watching guys, appreciate it. Hit that like button if you wanna see more like it. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more every Monday and Friday and the occasional Q&A on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Guys, I love your faces and I'll see you later, bye.